Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Good Skin channel. Oh, if you only knew how much I have been trying to record this video like a million times. This is like the fifth or like seventh time. And um, we're going to talk skincare because this is the Good Skin channel. Duh. And um, I'm going to show you what my winter skincare routine is going to look like for 2018. I'm saying 2018 because I know I'm going to change my mind next year. I'm not going to use the same products. Then I'm going to change my mind at the end of July. I'm not going to use the same product. So I just want to show you what I'm currently using, just preparing my skin for winter. Because quite honestly, I have dry skin and the fact that I'm, I'm on Accutane as well makes my skin even drier. So right now I'm focusing on moisturizing. I'm focusing on conditioning. I'm focusing on protection. I'm just focusing on my skin being healthy on its own and just um, creating an environment where it doesn't get dry because that's really my focus right now not having dry skin so i'm going to show you three products that i cleanse with because i can't cleanse right here i'll have to do it in the bathroom because my filming situation is kind of different i'm not filming in the bathroom so uh, i have to show you right here and then i'm going to cleanse and i'm going to come back and then put on the products and show you how i put on the products okay so uh, you guys know i love my clinic take the day off balm this balm is fantastic for taking off makeup completely and what i like about it is that in contact with water it turns into like a, a soapy consistency and i have really been in love with this i'm almost done with it um my hope is to finish it because you guys know my bad habits of not finishing products so this is one of the products that i used to take off my makeup and then on some days i use this be uzuri cleanser this is a hot cloth cleanser and um, what I like about this cleanser is that it takes off my makeup without drying my skin at all. It's completely made up of 100% natural ingredients and I love the way it smells. I just love everything about it and I just apply it on my face, take off my makeup and then that's it. I just wipe it off with hot cloth. And then once I'm done taking off um, my makeup with these products, you can actually not go it follow it up with a cleanser but i am meticulous about what i do and i just want to be sure that everything's gone the dirt's gone everything's clean so i follow this up with a cleanser and lately for my evening cleansing i have been using this glossier jelly cleanser which i really really love so i tried to use this as a makeup remover and it absolutely did not work and uh, it actually works better as a conditioning cleanser so the reason why I use this is because it's really good for like two-step cleansing. And if you guys don't know about two-step cleansing, um, if you've heard about Korean skincare, there's a lot of like 10 steps. And if you're doing a lot of steps on, of cleansing your skin, you want to stick to gentle products. You want to stick to natural products. Uh, you want to stick to something that's going gonna, gonna to be harsh on your skin. So this Glossier Milk Aid Jelly Cleanser is a conditioning face wash and what I like about it is that I can apply it on dry skin and then just use some water. It doesn't take away any, any of the natural moisture that I have in my skin. So this, guys, is what I am currently using to cleanse my skin. These three products, they are fantastic in their own right. If you haven't tried them out, go out and get your own. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and cleanse my face and then come back and put on my products on camera so that I can show you guys my steps and explain to you why is it that I have moved to these products. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Face is cleansed and my next step is actually toner because my skin is actually drying up quite quickly. It's cold. My skin's dry. Yeah. So I've been using this Clarins. Um, this is the Lotion Douce Tonifiant and it's basically a gentle um, toner. And uh, I'm just going to press it, this into my skin. What I love about this is that it's very smooth. It doesn't really sting. Actually, it doesn't sting at all. And um, I just put it on this cotton pad. And I'm going to swipe up. So you guys remember, you swipe up because you don't want to drag your skin down. You know, we want to slow down aging, not speed it up. So we swipe up everything. If you don't want to swipe up, you can press it in. If you have any crow's feet, you just like pull like that and just put it in between so that you can get the treatment there. So this is full of aloe and aloe is really good for hydration. 
and um, I just love the way it smells as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna swipe up and just put some on my nose, my ears, and just my forehead right here. One thing about cotton pads is that it absorbs so much product and it's almost a waste. So when I'm through with these, I have decided to move on to gauzes and the gauze won't absorb as much product as the cotton pad because this is a lot of wastage. So there we go. Next, I'm going to moisturize my lips because they feel like fish scales and I'm going to use my GlossierBalm.com and I'm so in love with this universal skin salve and um, what I love about it is that when I wake up in the morning it's actually still on my lips and my lips are not cracking and also I have a habit of blowing my nose quite a bit so I get like bruises and cuts around my nose so this helps me quite a bit so just deal with that and in winter you know you just want a good balm to keep your skin nice and hydrated. So I'm going to do a little bit of acne treatment tonight uh, or spots. So I'm going to use this Dermaplex. Um, this is the Blemish Perfection and Gentic Calm Gel. It's for all skin types and my uh, dermatologist gave me this for treating my spots. So you have to put this after toner. The general rule of um, uh, what would I call it? The general of serums is that you go from the lightest to the thickest. And I want my acne treatment straight onto my skin because that's the point. So I'm just going to apply this in the areas where it's needed. So I've got sunburns here, which I'm currently treating. And this is going to help me with that. So just here, I'm applying it in circular motion because I really want it to penetrate into my skin. And I have some spots here from all the ingrown hairs I suffer from that I used to pull out, which I've stopped doing. And there we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see me better. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I have a little bit of discoloration here. And then I have like a little bit of a spot going on here. So there's my acne treatment. So what you want to do is want to give the product some time to actually get into your skin. So don't move on from product to product very quickly because um, you want to give the product a chance to get into your skin. So once my acne treatment is on, I'm just going to press it into my skin a little bit more and it's drying up. And up next, I'm going to do some eye cream. This cotton actually leaves so much stuff on my face. But it's nice and big, so I use it most areas. So I'm still using this Estee Lauder Revitalizing. This is the Revitalizing Supreme. This is the Global Anti-Aging Eye Balm. I'm still using it. I think it's actually then almost done. There isn't that much left inside but i love the stuff it's really been amazing to me i don't suffer from serious um dark circles at all but i do experience a lot of puffiness and i do have a secret on how i deal with that but i'm going to share that later because that's how it works <laughs> and i just put some around my mouth i've explained this before because of smile lines and then i'm going to put some in between my eyes because of frown lines, okay? So I'm gonna work this into my skin by tapping it in, because again, it's all about penetration. The more it gets into your skin, the better. So I'm just gonna transfer some of that on top of my eyes. And you want to be very gentle with whatever you're doing around your eyes, you know? Because it's a very delicate area. I'm gonna transfer some up there. And just tap this into my skin. And then next, once this is, has dried up a little bit more, I am going to use my moisturizer. Now, I've discovered something from Woolworth. You know, guys, I love Woolworth so much. They need to 
officially make me their skincare ambassador like let's just let's just put this out there in the universe and just get work to make me their skincare ambassador because i love their stuff so much so this is the ageless night cream from Woolworth and I was very hesitant to buy this product because I was like hey, it's Woolworth you know but I've used it for a week I have been really impressed and I'm so in love with the consistency of this it's it's a cream and in winter I don't want anything on my face other than a cream because it's super rich and super moisturizing and I love the way this smells it smells like tea and it really just does amazing stuff to my face so I'm just gonna apply this on after my eye cream and uh, what I like about this moisturizer is that it leaves me super 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 nourished like seriously Worth is doing some serious stuff so I apply a lot of it because that's what I want you don't have to uh, and I'm just gonna put it all over my face I like to massage my products into my skin because I feel like with the massaging I'm actually helping my skin as well just settle from the day you know puffiness redness whatever else is going on with it massaging actually helps a lot of blood flow to your face and the more blood flows to your face the better so I'm just gonna massage that into my skin and can you see the difference from when I began to now you know i'm moisturized and this feels good and then after this i'm gonna give it a little bit of i'm gonna just do this just massage right here yeah. So I have been switching around or playing around or going around or <laughs> trying out two products that I love from The Ordinary and um, I have the 100% derived squalene, that's it, and then I have the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip oil and both of these products are actually fantastic for dry months, they're fantastic for dry skin. If you're on any treatment that's making your skin dry, these are very, very good. So I'm going to use my squalene tonight because I used the rose uh, oil last night. So I've been switching around and um, I'm going to go for three drops. Because that's enough. And I'm just going to grab this between my hands and um, it's actually advised to apply these very thick serums onto your face after a moisturizer because they are basically emulsifying, uh, they're not emulsifying, they're humectant so they attract moisture to your face, so to your skin so it goes well after a water-based product so you can't put this over a balm, it's not going to work as well as it's going to work on a lotion or on a cream because on the cream it's going to attract whatever moisture there is in the air and it's also going to create a barrier between the the, the 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 serum and the skin because in between it's going to be your face cream so i'm just going to apply that if you want to go for both you can but i don't want my face to feel like there's like a hundred pounds laying on it of stuff so this is good enough and i'm just going to do that and Another tip that I'm going to give to you guys, and I know I've mentioned this in my videos before, you don't want to do this straight before bed because it is really pointless. You're wasting your product. You want to walk in the house, take off your makeup and do this so that you give your products a few hours to actually work in your skin before you go to bed. Because once you get in bed, you're going to rub this all off your pillow and then it's just going to be really pointless. So you want to do this maybe a couple of hours before going to bed and then you're going to like go into bed with your skin treated everything's fine and then you're gonna sleep so the next step that I'll usually follow after this is a sleeping mask but I don't want to do that tonight because I'm just not in a mood to deal with that you know skincare for me is about my mood so I'm just gonna stay like this because I just feel like this is enough for me so 
these are basically all the products that I'm going to be using this winter and all these products are to ensure that my skin stays moisturized, that my skin stays protected and that I don't suffer from all this winter dryness. So if you would like to try some of them, you can leave me a comment in the comment section below and then I can tell you more about them, more than I have said in the video. If you've tried them before, you can let me know how is it that you incorporated them into your skincare how they worked for you, how they didn't work for you, because I know that some people don't really have the same experience with skincare products as others do. So this might work for my skin, but it might not work for yours. So you let me know how it goes. And then um, if you're also trying to build your own winter skincare, you can let me know what products you're looking into, because it's also about budgets, it's about availability and stuff like that. So let me know all this in the comment section below. If you don't want to comment below, you can send me an email, that's okay. And my email is in the description box. And um, I am going to leave links of the products down below, but I, I'm not going to leave prices because I've, I've, I've had these for a while. And maybe I'm going to leave websites and then you can research and then see where I got them from. But this is my winter nighttime routine and then I'm going to show you my winter daytime routine soon. So uh, I hope you have a good evening and I hope you subscribe to my channel. If you're not, just click the subscribe button completely free. I won't bother you with spam emails, absolutely not. And if you want to get notifications of every time I post a video, just click the little bell and then you'll get notified. And also, you can share this video with anybody you think would be helped with us, you know. So, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!